there is our 3D trigonometric questions again and then in part A they just tell you that there is a triangular metal sheet and then with some thing you know BC is 24 while BAC is 30 degree and then angle ACB is 42 degree uh, usually part A is really easy just let you apply side formula or cosine formula but anyway in order to handle this kind of question, I never uh, consider as a 3D diagram. I will redraw it in a 2D diagram. And then this is part point B, point A, point C. This is 30 degree, this is 42 degree, and then we need 24, and we also need AC. So in this diagram, we have two points, uh, two angles, and also two length. Most probably, we are going to use side formula. And we have to know we refer to x, we need the opposite angle. So we have to find out the opposite angle first. In part A, angle ABC is equal to 180 degree minus 30 degree minus 42 degree because of angle sum of triangle, 108 degree. After that, we can write down the side formula x to sine opposite angle 108 degree should equal to uh, we have 30 degree and 24 so we use this combination 24 divided by sine 30 degree 48 sine 108 degree we have 45.6507128 uh, write down as much as digit that you can. Even you forget to store it into a, a memory slot, you can still use this value. That's why AC is equal to 45.7. And then, uh, after that, they say that we have to hold ABC like the figure such that only vertex B touch the horizontal ground and then A and C hold it uh, above the ground and then they tell you uh, D and E are the point line on horizontal ground vertically below which means that D is projection to A and uh, E is projection of C also after that they say that AD is 10 cm CE is 2 We have to find the distance between C and F. We have to consider how long is it. Uh, whenever we want to find out CF, we should consider is there any triangle involving CF. So we are concerning this survey, this 2D triangle. For triangle ADF, it's a right angle triangle because they say D is vertically below. And then AD is 10. Uh, we want to know is the distance between C and F. But we also know that this length AC is found in is found in part A. 45.6507127A. So we are going to use a similar triangle. 2 to 10 should equal to CF to the whole length. 2 to 10 is equal to CF to the whole length that means A to F so this is CF plus extra 45.6507127A and then you just solve CF or you in short uh, this is 1 to 5 that means this section to this section is 1 to 4 you may just simply use this value divided by 4 you also get the answer So just like what I mentioned, just simply divide by four. CF is approximate uh, equal to eleven point four one two six seven eight two. We just finished B one, 
and then for B2 we have find the area of ABF ABF here again if you want to find that area you should consider 2D diagram but not a 3D diagram this time we are talking about triangle ABF we are talking about this triangle and then they from top view maybe it's like this uh, what we know we know about AF we already know the total length is 57.06 because we already have one length then of course uh, if we consider his base then we want the height also But any method we can find out the height and don't forget you have 42 degree and also 24 here from point C so uh, this is a right angle triangle opposite size hypotenuse if we use sine ratio we can get the height directly so I let the height be H H divided by 24 is equal to sine 42 degree that's why to get the area of this triangle we have base and also we have heights already then we can write down there for the area is equal to 1 over 2 base times height is 458.1943369 Now our uh, proceed to the most, most difficult part of this question is they ask you the inclination of the thin metal sheets ABC to the horizontal ground that means they ask you the angle between the plane ABC and the horizontal ground. Uh, we always use the same method for that. First, we need to find the contact line. These two plane intercept on BF. If we extend it, extend the plane ABC, BF will touch the ground. And then we have to use perpendicular lines to this intercept line to represent corresponding plane so for the plane ABC that means I need to draw a perpendicular line from point B or some other point and then to represent this posi uh, to represent this plane but this is not a good choice it's because uh, at point B we don't have much information on the horizontal plane so I will prefer from point C or from point A because both of them we have the projection of those points so now I choose let's say I choose C uh, because we have more information on this triangle so we use the green line here to represent the uh, inclined plane and maybe I let the point of intercept be P uh, just random letter and then afterward we have to find a uh, line to represent the horizontal plane it's much easier it's because point E is the projection of C to the horizontal ground so we just connect point E to P then the angle between these two green line will be our target which is the angle uh, between the plane ABC and the horizontal ground uh, same story again if you want to get the angle then you need to consider a uh, uh, 2d diagram involving C P and also E here we already know C E which is 2 and then that's why if we can get C P then we can use the corresponding ratio which is opposite to hypotenuse to get our answer theta 
So uh, now our mission is to find out CP. You have to think uh, how can we get CP? CP is on this plane. So I label CP here. And then we have to brainstorm how can we achieve, uh, achieve this target. So a little bit more about this plane is we know this is 30 degree. So we know pretty well about this small triangle ABC. So if we want, that means we can find out AB also. If we find out AB with one line, two lines, one angle, by cosine formula, we can find out BF. So we can also find out BF. After we find out BF, don't forget that they give us some hints what to calculate in part B2. They ask us to find out the area. So with our long base and the corresponding area of this part, uh, because we have the ratio 4 to 1 so this is just one fifth of the total area then we can use this method to find out the corresponding height just now the area of the triangle ABF is 4, 5, 8 and then if we divide by 5 we get this one is among 90 something so with this area base and height, height is the only unknown, then we can get CP. After we get CP, take it back here and then we shift sign, we get the corresponding angle of incarnation. So clear? So now we set up few steps. The first step is to find out AB. The second step is to find out BF. The first step is about the area of triangle BCF. Uh, we just divide the previous result by 5 and then we can get CP. We get CP then we can take it back here and then we can get our target finally. So we start our calculation. First it's about AB. AB divided by sine 42 degree is equal to 24 divided by sine 30 degree. After that, uh, we are going to find out BF. So BF square is equal to AB square. And then we square with it, we get BF is 33.366. 90449 and then uh, we finished two steps already now the first step is about the area area of triangle BCF by the ratio because they have the two triangles have the same height and then that's why the length ratio is equal to their area ratio so this is 1 to uh, 5 the whole triangle is 5 so we just divide by 5 91.6388738 After that, we are going to get CP now Let P be our point So 1 over 2 CP times the BF So finally we just compare it with 2 and then we take shift, code, uh, shift sign that's why our angle is equal to shift sign and then opposite divide by hypotenuse is 21.4 degree
uh, some other student may not use this small triangle but instead they may use this uh, bigger triangle because we also had 10 so it's still possible for you to find that out uh, but uh, basically it's the same that you are going to consider the whole triangle let's say if this is Q and then uh, then we don't need to divide the area by 5 and then we can use this directly so uh, it depends on you uh, final ans uh, final part they say that the area of triangle BDF BDF that mean the plane in the horizontal plane a uh, triangle of this triangle here and then uh, is greater than this one that means we want to calculate the area of this just now we already have the inclination so I think letting Q may be more useful here in this question but sometimes you don't know which one is easier before you get the answer so we already know the angle of inclination is 21.4 degree so with this length we can find out what is DQ that means the height now our target is to find out this area D to B and F and then Q is somewhere here we already have BF which is 33 point something and also uh, if we find DQ then we can find out this area to consider DQ we consider the a D Q this plane again this is 10 the incarnation 21.4 so we can find out DQ very easily by using tangent ratio tangent angle a Q D that means your answer in part B3 is equal to opposite divided by adjacent We get this uh, length, it seems makes sense, and then we are going to calculate the area of triangle BDF. Ah, you better write down So uh, DQ times BF, then we just use the data that we have. Then we get the exact area of this is 426.7 something, and then it is uh, definitely smaller than 460 that they want us to compare. That's why we do not agree. Uh, some other method is uh, they say the inclined plane this triangle area should be bigger than the shadow of this in the loon on the uh, that means if the sunshine are uh, from the vertically above and then the shadow here should be smaller but I think this one is not very reliable and then uh, you are not really sure about that so I think finding the exact value of the area is much better method.